Hello, I am Bentham, and welcome back to Satisfactory Multiplayer with Enter Elysium. Hello, vertical uh, conveyors kill Bentham. Yeah, so it turns out if we build vertical conveyors, I instantly crash out of the game now. Which is weird, because he built one at the start and I was hanging around for a bit, but now the game's like, nope. Bentham also, and vertical conveyors are... cannot coexist. They're straight up broken. You cannot have a vertical conveyor that goes downwards. They refuse to attach. Yeah, they're, they're very, they're very bored. They're, like, they work okay enough in single player, but it seems that multiplayer just stretches them a little bit too far to be able to do a thing anymore. Um, I'm not disappointed by that, but... We've unlocked a new car, and also the map now? So, the, the man was working on quartz uh, between episodes, and then we wanted to take a picture with a hard drive in the man. So, we completed the research. And now we've got the Explorer Research, which gives us the Crystal Oscillator, the ability ah. to scan for quartz, and a new car, and also the map. So I'm going to get that done now. Though there's lots of fiddly bits and bobs required to do the damn thing. I need to make a bunch of beacons. Yes, I too put 10 GPSs in my car. It requires, well, the, the research requires 15 beacons, but then, yeah, like, cars take a bunch of beacons. I need some modular frames, and some rotors. Yoink. Ah. Right. Where the hell are the rotors? That's the issue with the multi-tier system, is you can't see the stuff above. There's the rotors. You don't need to see the stuff above. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be able to build the Explorer for quite a while because it requires some real fancy gubbins that we definitely don't have. Doop. Back to, like, oil and stuff. Exploration-based technology unlocked. Quartz-based parts unlocked, along with a map of your fixed approved designated zone in need of charting. The new vehicle is aimed at efficient travel speed. Oh, it's gone. Oh, God, I've got you and Ada telling me that. Yeah, Ada wasn't talking for me, so I just read it out myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, does Ada, Ada talk? Yeah, normally she does, so I assumed that like they just borked the, the voice lines, but I guess only for multiplayer clients. They seem to do that a lot. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so uh, we can now scan for quartz, so... Boop. Anything else? We oh, we can also scan for Terran. We'll just do quartz for now. Scan twice, double scanned. Extra levels scanning. How is this an invalid aim location, mate? Ah, oh, bollocks! There we go. Uh, 1,400 meters to the... N east northeast, and there's yeah, the one that's nearly northeast. two kilometers north. So they're not close, but it's workable. Ah, I'm gonna consult my map. Actually, I think I know where they are. Um, it's yeah, it's back where we found all of the the drop pods two episodes ago. Is where the nearest quartz is. Oh joy! I'm wondering, should I set up a, like a super long truck journey? Or should I just say screw it and build a belt all the way there? I'm tempted by the truck journey, to be honest. There's one issue, though, which is we also need there to be power at that facility, and there are no coal deposits nearby. Run a power line so, and do yeah. whatever. Trucks will have a greater throughput, though. At that distance, I think belts will have a greater throughput. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I'm going to go on a mission for this quartz, and I'm going to run power all the way there, because... God damn it. Oh, sod it. I'm going to do dumb things. Uh, I'm going to need a whole bunch of cable. Luckily, here's a cable facility I built earlier. Hmm. We shouldn't need anything fancy, really. I'm a bit short on wire. We'll grab a little bit of that. Hell, let's have two stacks of the stuff, then we'll never be short. I'll have to do this on foot because of because uh, I can't be in a truck while I do this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try and make Blade Runners before I leave. Though, I don't think we have enough Katarium. 
American Dream. Now, which is it for Blade Runners? Uh, 50 quick wire. Oh, there might be enough. Oh, there's enough. Is there any more quick wire? Right, if I then put a hole in the wall here. Blade Runners! Nice. Alright, I'm gonna turbo run my way. It's gonna be great. Also, I need to dump some of this stuff. I have too much. Oh, I shouldn't have put it in there. I'm gonna make Man. a separate junk thing. There we go. That looks ugly as hell. <laughs> do we keep hold of that coal? I don't know if I need it for anything. But you never know. Money. Okay, I can build 400 power poles. That should surely get me there. That's one every, what, 20 meters? 400, 2 meters. Jesus, yeah, you're good. Also, my bloomin' key bindings are all gone again. Because the bloomin' crash. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. Recipe. Alternate steel beams. Recipe, alternate steel beams. Recipe, let's go with that. Okay. Alternate steel beams. Recipe, alternate steel beams. Benson, did you just go past? Uh, I went through the. Oh yeah, hi. Oh, hi. What? Can you do me a favor? Go what? check on your concrete and tell me what the output of that concrete is. Uh, do you mean the the stone mine? Yeah, because right now, I don't think we're getting the amount of concrete you said we'd get. I don't know that I ever said we'd get a ton of concrete. <laughs> you it did. appears I to be a hundred. You said we could provide this much stone, and then we we're like, okay, that's good. It appears to be 120 per minute being provided. So oh, the belt saturated. This won't, this won't be enough because you need 180 if these are all supposed to be running full pelts. Why is that the case then? One mm. of us might have mixed up 180 and 120 because 120 is what you're getting. One, two, three, four. No, I only need, I only need uh, 15 times... Oh, I need 45 times 4. Yeah, it's meant to be 180. And this is a Mark II belt, so... We've got one belt at Mark II. The man has completed its analysis. Where does this stone even come from? Oh, and the man just finished, so uh, you can go do another hard drive thing. I'm going to wait until this is done. I can't bother to go back and forth repeatedly. <laughs> um, what is the mine on the end of that, then? Is the mine running at a higher than 120? Uh, I think it's running exactly 120. Okay, can I power shard it to make it better? Yeah. Oh, the, I think there's another deposit nearby we could hook up as well. We want to save on power shards. Well, we've got to use power shards at some point, right? Oh, this is 240 a minute. No, this is fine. It just needs better belts. Right. Upgrade, upgrading to Mark Three. The Mark Three is what, 240? Uh, 270. 270. Yeah, if you can bring 270 in, that'd be great. I just realized I can ride these belts as I upgrade them because it's the top belt of the stack. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Okay, so if I'm getting 270 in. I'm splitting it onto Mark IIs. Bloody hell, I really was prepared for this. I was splitting onto Mark IIs already. Oh, I'm out of yeah. steel beams. I can't finish it. <laughs> Oh, uh, come here, I'll drop your steel beams. I need a, a ton. 
like multiple stacks. Three hundred. Okay, that should probably do it. We. Oh, I didn't take damage. Honestly, I was expecting to. You produce Come 15 on. concrete. No, per I fell. God damn it. Climbing up here is the worst. Is there another route? I need 20 per minute. I thought it was another route, but we and got rid of it. <laughs> yeah, I can just sort of faff my way up to the to the summit. Now I've got to work out where it's up to. Right there. He's put you at 133. Oh, Jesus. The speed. Oh, the corners don't quite work. You end up just stopping. 134, maybe? Yeah, there we go. And there. That should be the whole thing running quicker now. Let's have a look. Yep, so we got 270 running into here. It's being split evenly. Oh yeah, so there's 120 coming out each uh, side. Which is more than enough. Yep, you're now over provided for stone. Enjoy. Okay, and each of these is taking 60. I'm not over provided. Oh, have you upgraded... The, have you overclocked them all? Concluded. Fix oh, it for dear. The complete. So they're putting out 20. I need 20 for each of my uh, thingies over here. Okay. Which means they're working. I also need 36 steel pipes per minute. I need to upgrade my steel pipe production. All right, I need to work out this, uh, this wire connection. There's one. Can I just steal the power off this? Yes, I can. All right. I'm beginning my adventure. So you're producing 30 steel pipes. I need 36 for each of those. So I need 144 steel pipes. Do you have spare steel beams? I'm left. See ya. Okay. I'm running off to the east in search of quartz. That's a shame because I really need steel beams. Uh oh, friendos. You just gonna stand there and roar at me? Because I'll shoot you if that's the case. Oh, I didn't manage to shoot him before he rammed me. Didn't work. Got ya. Come on. Ha! Blade Runners are really fun for the, the guys that try and run at you. You just leap over them. Okay. Oh, so you should probably just melee this guy. Yep, switch into melee. Sold this. Not chainsaw. Though I wish the chainsaw could be used as a melee weapon. Really missing out that it can't be. Should be... There we go. 30 per minute. So, I need to convert another, like, three more. Okay. And so, the journey continues. The journey! Through the field of weird spheres. Get my bearings. Where's the quartz? I'm surrounded on all sides by cliffs right now. This may be a problem. Oh, I think I'm approaching the bloomin' poison barrier that we struggled with on the way back. Oh, actually, yeah, I need to be going. I didn't go that way. Like that way. But I didn't either. We both didn't go that way. Oh, oh, that one. Okay. What is this? Oh, some friends for a start. 
Right, let's have at you. Just gonna wail on him. I, I really wish I had those extra power shards right now. Well, if you research yellow and purple slugs, I think actually we might already have yellow slugs sorted, but you can research purple and we might have already picked up more than one of them. In which case you can get five power shards from one of them. From a purple? Yeah. Yeah, we've got Yellows two. make three, purples make five. I thought yellows made two. No, they make three. Like, well, at least I've heard they make three. I think they make two. Never actually done it myself. They make two then. Because I'm almost certain I saw them like, in the recipe as two. Like, if I take the yellow slugs and exchange them for... Oh, God. Ah. Inventory troubles. Power shard, yeah. You don't have room in your inventory. I would. Tell me how many it says it makes, because I feel like it is three. Two. Two. Oh, okay. Two. Wow, okay. Yellows aren't that, that good, then. Okay, so the quartz is off a massive cliff. The chargers might be better to shoot at. Though, if you can get them doing their blooming run in a circle thing, then you can just murder them with melee. Right, come oh, be a... oh, there's a pass here. I can get through this way. Okay. Do another scan to check him on the right track. This way, right? Yep. Oh, but yeah, it's it's high up. Okay. Is it that even? I'm not even sure about distances. Right. Okay, I've converted. Ah. This is the worst. Going through. Now oh, there's a way to go yet. Ooh, a cave. This is a proper cave. As opposed to all those imaginary caves. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a lot more caves we'll be able to access now that uh, we, we'll be able to make explosives. Oh hey, spiders! Hi! Hi! Gonna you stab you like, lots. You load of weapons and stuff, you're told up to spiders. Oh yeah. They're just the disgusting. Alien organs for days. Can we even use alien organs for anything? I'm not sure they I've actually... I've never seen anything that we've used for now. You might be able to eat them? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I've tried. My Celia! I'm going to grab some of this. Your Celia! We can make parachutes. Not that we need them as it turns out. No, they are actually completely useless to us. More of a liability. There might be other stuff that needs fabric. I'm not sure. There's a research chain anyway, might as well get that all done. Right, I think... I've overclocked a lot of things. Yeah. The thing about, uh, about overclocking is you don't need it till you do. Well, it's because I'm working in the limited spaces factory and I don't want to tear too much up. Hmm. My philosophy with that so far is um, use them on mines and only mines because they're the thing that uh, you can't just build more of a lot of the time. Admittedly, there's always a, there's always more deposits out there, but you'd have to make massive amounts of infrastructure to actually hook them up. Whereas you could just be like, what if I make this coal deposit produce 600 per minute? And then get it onto belts? Uh, there's a, there'll be a quick enough belt in the full version. <laughs> yeah, but in the right full now version, the limit is sure. fo is uh, 450, so you can make it go at like you can nearly double it and have a Mark II miner on a pure deposit, and it would work. Nope. Oh, why didn't that build? Was that wire too long? There, I found a green slug. It's something. If I can even reach the bloody thing.
You know what? I don't know why I even bother. Our encased industrial beams are backed up. I realize I'm not really leaving room for a truck with now I'm building these power poles. Wait, why am I getting less over here? Okay, this cave might be too long. It might not actually go to where I'm trying to get to. I was kind of assuming this was just like a little tunnel under some rock, but it's still going. Now there's a giant cavern. Is that a large spider? That seemed like a large spider. Oh my god. Yeah, this isn't... This isn't where I thought I was. Right, these should be filling up pretty fast now. Not quite full speed, but very close. Well, yes. aren't you disgusting? Wow! See, Thank these you. are not these are not spiders. These are horrible demon monsters. Yep, gonna just gonna kill it. Just gonna kill it with Oh I can't kill it. It, it can't die. There we go, Jesus. Yeah, it's a giant one. Um so I'm in a giant underground cave, which wasn't my plan. Is the quartz in here? I've gone past it. It's south now. Well, almost accidentally clicked on vertical conveyor. Wait, what the hell is this? I do not know, I cannot see it. I am killing spiders. I mean, everyone's got to have a hobby, right? I've found uranium. Okay, and? Uh, that's bad, really. Why? Um, because I'm taking radiation damage. Oh. I'm gonna leave. Yeah, let's not. Let's not do that. I don't think I was taking much, but I just noticed that there's a radiation marker on my health bar, but it's gone now. Let me just, how close do I need to be for it to go off, and does it actually Is do much? Is the factory hooked up to all the things that I asked you to hook it up to? Because for some reason we're not getting many iron plates. I thought we'd be getting more. Oh yeah, I was going to work on that, and then you built vertical conveyors and crashed the game, and I forgot what I was doing. God damn it, Bentham! I wanted to get sulfur, it's cool. Sure, What's... but that means none of the projects that we worked on are working. I harvested too many mushrooms, I'm out of inventory space. So you can't get the sulfur that you planned to because you... Ah. I made room. I made room. Right, now I need to work out where the hell I am. I think I need to go this way? There we go. There's my power pole. Yep, yep. This entire system is broken. Purple slug! I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Eh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is actually really easy to get, all things considered. I guess it's like, you've already found this giant cave system. Here, enjoy your purple Paris look. Yeah, but like, the cave system isn't the reward. The slug is the reward. But, I mean, normally you have to do like a crazy jumping puzzle for the purple slug. This time it was just oh, up a God. ramp. This iron plate belt is just... Can I build a truck? Oh, I'd need beacons. I can make them. Now I'll just keep going for now. Oh yeah, right. So scan for raw quartz. Where is it now? South. I think there's a path to the south, so I'll try that. It's just like a crossroads of tunnels, I think. Oh, never mind. There's no tunnel here. I think. Oh, ah, radiation. Okay, the radiation is not centered on the uranium deposit. It's misplaced, so I was, I was stood on the uranium like, oh, I'm fine. And then I walked past the uranium, it's like, no, I'm not fine. That is unusual. I'm 
just gonna keep running this power line. In case I stumble across a way to get up to the quartz. Oh, the lag. What are you doing? It's bad. It's bad. I'm doing your job. Why is it lagging, though? Because I'm replacing belts. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, spiders! Gotta love them. Oh, it's a big guy. Ow. Ow. Okay. Also, okay, so each a... of these produce 59 plates and you've only got four of them. Okay. Each of these smelters is a Mark 1? Oh, I remember what was happening. I was... well... Th there's only... What do you mean, Mark 1 smelter? That's the only kind of smelter. Okay. What? Wh why were you acting like there's such a thing as a Mark 2 smelter? I meant minor. Okay. No, it's a Mark II minor. Oh yeah, so I remember the other thing that was the problem. I was waiting for you to finish working with the vertical conveyors so you could destroy a merger and I could reconnect up the iron ingots because they're not connected. Wait, the iron ingots aren't connected at all? Yeah, because I'm trying to make a merger but it broke and so I needed you to delete it. Oh, god damn it! But you said okay, you which, would finish with the vertical merger? conveyors first. Which um, merger? The two smelters next to the hub. There's one clipped into the front of one of them, I believe. Huh. Oh, I see it. Don't the outputs of those smelters need putting into a merger and that merger hooking up to the belt that's right next to them that leads off upwards and away. The belt that's right next to them that leads upwards and away. Okay, I see it. So the tunnel actually slopes up a lot, which I think will put me on the level of the quartz. But also it's taking me a real circuitous way. Also, how did I pick up the yellow slug? I thought I was... Oh, I, I, I've built so many power lines now that I've started making more inventory space from all the cables I've been using. This is a lot of spiders! I should turn the torch on, that's a good idea. No way, it just means I can see the spiders better. This doesn't help me at all. And then these go in here. Come at me, you weird... Spider? Glitchy things. Where'd you go? I'm running off. Which feeds into here. And Which means everything up here is stopped. Which means staters aren't being made for renters. Yes. Okay. But that still doesn't stop the fact that I don't own a fine plates either. Yeah, that was the next issue that was gonna work on. Can you can you work on those issues? I am many miles away. Then in, in an future, underground cave on that is on. I'm in a high altitude underground cave, so I'm having a weird experience here. This thing just keeps sloping up. I feel like I'm gonna come out on top of a mountain. Oh! The exit. I can see the night sun. Where the hell am I? What okay. can I disconnect to get more iron? Uh, nothing. How do I get my iron plates then? Because I need those iron plates. Uh, when I was working on that, my plan was to upgrade the miners in front of our hub to Mark II's and then make more iron plates from that. Done. I'm heading there now. Right, so now I'm out here. Let's scan for raw quartz again. Am I anywhere near it? Nope, I am further away, but I think I'm on the right 
I'm at the right altitude now. So that's a kind of improvement. Oh god, it's so framey! Is it because you're doing something, or is are you not able to work out why it's happening? Because... It's because I'm trying to delete stuff. Every time you're complaining about frames is when I'm building another bit of the power line, and this is a very long power line now. Maybe? I've got no real idea. Oh, I fell in the lake. Oh, it's solid. Huh. Well, that's weird. I can just walk on it. I have no idea where I am right now. There's plants here that I've never seen before. There's lots of uh, space whale, penguin, giraffe tick things. Oh, there's some cool uh. deposits around here. Well, that one's copper, but this looks like... Uh... Oh, that's iron. Stone. Maybe they're not interesting after all. Aha! Sulfur! Right. So you can do 60 iron ore per minute. What can I delete? But oh, if I upgrade why do I have... you... Why do I have so many reinforced iron plates? How did I mess that up? I need to get rid of some of these. I can get 120 iron ore per minute. Yeah, one of those miners can feed both of the smelters, and then you can have the other one feed more smelters making more iron. I may have already upgraded them. I... I, I know you... You said you were doing that. But I didn't need to. Are you overclocking them? Oh, yes. You don't need to overclock them. But I did. Why? Because you're not here to stop me. <laughs> I'm just going to delete it later and hook up the other miner that's right next to the one you presumably just overclocked. Well, maybe next time when I ask you to make iron plates to make my system work, I'll get my iron plates. What is this? Okay, it's just the poison plants, which aren't going off for some reason. Oh yeah, they don't go off when I'm here. I forgot, I'm immune to poison plants. They don't activate when I'm near them. They only activate when you're near them. We've had it before, though, that they've activated near you, but you couldn't see them activating. So I'd be cautious. But maybe that's just because they're loaded in your game. Maybe if I'm oh, far maybe, away from you. Maybe I have to load them. Ah, that makes sense. And it kind of doesn't that, make sense. That's compared. fun. I found some raw quartz. Not quite what I was looking for. And there's a slug right there. So I'll just go up and get the slug because they won't stop me. This is a really nice looking place, at least. I may be lost, but I'm least, at least I'm lost in a beautiful place. Full of slugs. I have many slugs. Right. I when you sort your inventory, it doesn't, played. it doesn't put the slugs together, and that hurts me. They just randomly dotted around my inventory. There's a sort button. <laughs> I press the sort button. It doesn't put them next to each That's what I just said. I said I sorted wait, it. They're wait, not next to each other. Wait, the sort button works for you? For my personal inventory, yes. For nothing else. Oh, okay. But the slugs are considered like a, a, a category, I think. So they're all in entirely different places. Right, iron plate. I've left the power lines behind. Where did I put those? I need, 20, I need 30 ingots per minute to make 15. I'm 200 meters away. But I've lost my power lines. Are they over here? There they are. Can I build a power pole just on the water? Oh, it doesn't let me. Am I going to have to go around? Oh, there. oh, interesting. Wire's too long. Balls! 
Build it up there. Why is it too long for that as well? Oof. 30 to 30. Oh, that's more useful ore. Oh, well, this is quar quartz ore. Hopefully I'll have tons of that soon. Yeah, I found a fun bug. Cool. If you overclock a machine, then you take the things out of it, it stays clocked. Does it actually run at the speed, though? It says it's overclocked at 200%. Have you, like, left and re-entered? No, no, leaving and re-entering actually causes it to revert. Yeah, there you go. It's got display issues like that for me as well, where, um... When I was switching something to standby, it wasn't actually showing a switched. Okay, where's the power line? Oh, hang on. I've got company. Hang on, I've got company. I like how the... the Chargers will just stand and growl at you for a second, and in that time, you can run up and just smack them and kill them. Yeah, they aren't the smartest. Oh, where the hell is that power line? There it is. You get over here. Right to the edge of this. And we can... Oh, that only brings me up to an extra 30. I need an extra 60. Leap! Oh, that didn't work. Damn it, so close. Ow. Oh yeah, I landed on... I forgot the water is not water, so I just hit it and took fall damage. Oops. Well played. There, I managed to bridge the water anyway with the power lines. Oh. I was gonna build and then it changed its mind. Doop. Doop. There, when all else fails, just build a blooming ramp. Alright, there we go. Ha, ha. And onwards through the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. I need iron plates. I'm actually going directly back towards the base where I am. Scanning. Oh, it's that way. Damn it. It's going the wrong way. You're outputting 60 per minute. I need more. Oh, poison. God damn it. I'm almost there. It's like right here. 125 meters and there's poison. This game. Don't you floor is too steep, me. Walkway ramps. Walkway ramps. Okay. Bypassing no power. The poison. Is this it? Is this the quartz? It's the quartz! I found it! And it's not actually in the poison. There's just poison blocking access because this game is evil. Right, time to set up shop. Just in time for, like, the end of the episode. Yep. And I have managed to get an extra load of iron plates by overclocking one of the miners. Why don't you just build both of them as Mark IIs? I did. You they didn't sure? produce enough. Yeah. I feel like they did and you've just not used everything properly. Well, maybe you could have built the iron plate things if you cared about them being built properly. They're on only impure deposits, which is why they're not generating very much. Okay, now I finally have some inventory space. 
Uh, oh lord, I need to put a splitter in here. Or a merger or something. Merger, I think. I need to bring the power here for the last little bit. Where did I put the power line? There. Awesome. Also, totally gonna take a picture of this beautiful quartz. There's two of them. It's getting out of hand. There. Right. Then I just need to merge all of you together. Nope, where's my hotbar gone? There it is, it exists. Wasn't sure for a second. Minor mark two, plonk. Ow! <laughs> I ran into it. Minor mark two, plonk. Power pole. You ran Connect. into your minor mark two? Connect. Connect, and we are mining quartz, 240 per minute total. Now, Yay. getting it home. Oh, hey, a crashed ship. I wonder if we've looted that one. Oh, yeah, we have. I can see our walkways. <laughs> oh, this is a view. Right, there we go. Oh, that's a crashed ship we haven't been to. <laughs> okay, noted. Oh yeah, the quartz is right by the crashed ship we were at, uh, that was surrounded by poison we had to abandon. I li literally can walk straight there. Why are you backing up? 15, I can 15, see the factory 15, 15, from here. I can see Ray. That's 60. Oh, maybe you're just moving too fast so you're backing up because of that. Okay. I can actually see the ravine factory this time, though it's a bit messed up. Everything's very, very low res. Right, you done? Because I basically am. <laughs> for today. Uh, I have fixed all the things, I think. <laughs> Probably not, because I didn't know if we need to fix rods either, but... Ingots are now working. Iron plates are now working. I feel like I'm back in episode two. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of quartz. It's great. I'm just going to live here for like an episode. <laughs> and then when I'm done, uh, I'm just going to bring a truck full of quartz back with me. Oh yeah, by the way, if you hit Z, we got a map now. Oh. Oh. Does it show the the area that I'm in as as mapped? Yeah, that's good. It's probably shared then. There's a lake to the north of you. Yep. And yeah, I went through a massive underground cave system. So at some point, I'll show you that place. It's cool. Sweet. And right. uh, soon enough, we'll have a bunch of quartz crystals. Then we can make crystal oscillators, which is some important later tech things, I believe. I don't really know. We'll work it out as we go. But, with that, I should say goodbye. Thank you for watching, and we shall see you next time. Stay shiny.